In this video, we're going to talk about the Agile calendar. Anywhere in the platform or wherever you are in the platform, click on the calendar link. Here, it's going to take you to the calendar view. We have a monthly calendar view, a weekly calendar view, and a day calendar view. You can always click on today as well, which will propagate to that particular view based off of what the day is. Let's go today. You can quickly add an event, fill out the event details, start date, end date, start time, the status, the priority, make sure you give the event a name. You can actually search for a related contact, meaning who the event is associated with or a related deal. You can just type that in and give it a description and then save the event. Similarly, you can actually add a task from the calendar, give the task a name, the category for the task, a due date and a time, who the task is for, which owner, a priority of the task, uh, the status, and also you can search and add related contacts, related deals, and then give the task a note or a description and then save it. Also, you can add what is called a dashlet to this page. Let's click on add dashlet. Let's say I want to give another type of calendar uh, dashlet. I may want to add a task dashlet. So you select the, ta the dashlet and then you select the page. And in this case, you would select events because we want this dashlet to populate on the calendar and hit add. Now let's go back to the calendar and we should see it here. In this dashlet, as like all of our dashlets, you can edit or configure the dashlets as well. So this week, next seven days, today, and you can actually customize the dashlet as well. I'm just going to say this week, but I don't actually have any tasks, but well, that's what that will look like. Now, what you can also do with the Agile calendar is you can always see or pull in events that belong to other users on Agile or your team members. Let's say this user, I want to see their events. I'll just select that particular user. Let's change the view because I'm not sure if that user has any actual events. Here's an event right there for that user. If I unselect that, actually, that those events are there. So if I unselect, you see Chuck Williams' events depopulate from the calendar. So that's a great way for you to keep up and see what your other team members are doing and what their calendar looks like. In the next video, I want to talk about adding or syncing your Google Calendar with your Agile Calendar. I hope this was helpful.